Ooh, everybody. Okay, so in this one, we're just going to learn really basic controls of the MetaHuman, okay? That's all we're going to do. So if you go to Window and you say Content Browser, open that up, and it'll open up a window for you, right? Now, inside there, uh, if you looked at my uh, Dash to MetaHuman, you'll know how to bring in a MetaHuman into, into uh, Unreal Engine. Um, but for now, you know, just open up Content Browser. You can say, you can say right-click, and you can say... Uh, new level and it'll create a new level. I've got one open here, here. Open it up and then we're ready to bring in a metahuman. Okay, so we're gonna go look for our metahumans. You can type in metahuman and you'll see a folder called metahumans. And inside there, this is the one that we made. This one, uh, we didn't give her a name, probably should have given her a name, but all we're gonna do is drag and drop and drop her. Okay, that's it. That's all we're gonna do. And then in the details panel, look, if you click on her, or if you, you can click on her in the outliner, but if you click on her, you'll get a details panel. If you don't get that details panel, just go to window and details and click it and you'll get the details panel. Right, so I'm gonna click on her and I'm gonna go to transform location and I'm just gonna put it all on zero, zero, zero. Okay, just so that she's centered. Then I can hit F, right on the keyboard, F, Select your human, hit F, and it'll zoom up on your human, okay? Whatever you select and you press F, uh, it'll it'll select your human. Now, if I go in and out, you can see her hair disappears. That's very nice. That's very nice. Uh, I'm actually going to turn that one into a quick separate video because it is annoying and it happens to everybody. So what you can do here is you can select your character in the BP you can scroll all the way down until you get LOD sync right there. You can edit the blueprint. Uh, don't worry too much about this one now, but if this annoys you, you can do, do this. Then the blueprint will open up. Scroll all the way down until you see LOD sync in the components there, right there. And on the right hand side, you see this forced LOD. Just put that to one. Put that to one. That's all you got to do. And then hit compile. Boom. Compile there and save. And once that saves, yo, uh, she's good to go. Then you can close that BP, and now you can see her hair don't disappear anymore. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we don't want to go straight into uh, a content browser. Now, if you right-click, you can say new folder, and I've made a new folder uh, up here. You can put it wherever you want, called sequences. Okay, and if you right click, you can say animation and level sequence. Okay, so if right click anywhere inside of the content browser, right click animation, level sequence, click on it, and let's call it uh, Meta Human. Meta Human. Okay, now you've got your sequencer. So I can drag and drop that sequencer. E in the stage, okay, right on the stage. There it is. I'm just going to bring it a little bit closer. If you don't see this, you know, you can hit uh, W, E, and R. W, move, E, rotate, and R scale. So I just got W, and I'm moving this on. I don't see anything. You see that? If you don't see anything, look, I don't see anything. I don't see the sequence I just brought in. If you don't see sh stuff, hit G. And it'll bring up all the icons okay so g uh moves icons away uh it, it makes them invisible all the icons invisible if you hit g again it brings them all here and your grid you see everything disappears when i hit g on and off so if you don't see things just hit g if you want to make things just disappear for for a short time hit g again okay so i've got that i can select it either in my scene or in my outliner i can select here you can see the little clapper metahuman there it is and then in details i can double click it boom and this will open i'm going to move away the content browser for now don't need it um and then you get this this uh this panel and this is called a sequencer okay so all i got to do now 
while the sequencer is open, I select my metahuman either in here or in my or in my uh, whatever the hell this thing's called outliner. I can select the uh, BP new metahuman. I didn't give her a name. I should have given her a name. Uh, let's give her a name quick, just so that we don't mess her up. Uh, let's call her Bob. Okay, so BP Bob. That's our metahuman. So I can either select Bob here, or I can select Bob in the scene. Once I've got them highlighted, make sure it's the BP that's highlighted. And then I go to track in the sequencer, uh, actor to sequencer, and they add BP Bob. And there we go. Bob is Bob is there. Okay. Um, and there's all the controls for her. So I can click on body, metahuman control rig, which is the body's rig, or the face rig down here. Not the face and the body, the metahuman control rig. You're looking for the control rig. It's the control rig that's controlling the character. So I can either hit that if I want to animate the body, and I can hit that if you want to animate the face. Now look, we're not going to get into animation here. We're going to get into just posing and learning how this works. A later tutorial, we'll start getting into proper animation of the character and stuff. So I'm not going to touch the body for now. I mean, it's quite straightforward. You 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 grab something and you you can animate it. Okay, you can you can move it. <laughs> Okay, so you can just grab a control and you can start moving it around. Awesome. Okay, so what we want to concentrate now is the face, the face rig. Uh, and here it is, okay? <laughs> Look at that hair, right? It's insane. Look, I'm going to go to the, 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 the body quick and I'm going to take the head and I am going to take the head here and I'm just gonna move the hair out the way. There we go, so we can see that face, very nice. So here we go, that's it. And then you can click on the face rig and you can start playing. Here's the controls. Start playing with all them controls, yeah. Look at that, look at that. Click on another one up here. <laughs> Click on another one, start bringing that up a little bit, you know, click on the eyes, or she cross, she's looking at someone like up there, she cross, she cross. Click on her nose, okay, now she really cross, she really cross, there one. Bring this one in a bit, let's see, yes. And you got all these controls to control everything about your metahuman. Look at that, don't know what that is. The mouth. <laughs> a little girl. Blah, 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 blah. This is ridiculous, eh? This is ridiculous. Insane. Lips. Wow. Neck. Oh no, that's the top lip. Okay, that's an interesting place to put that. Mouth sticky. What is that, eh? Oh, you can stick the lips together. It's insane, man. It's insane. Lips blow. Interesting. This must be for the eyes. Okay, so it links up a controller. So if I have this on, I can parent this now to anything I want. And wherever it moves, the eyes will move with it, which is really cool. And then you've got your focus here. So this will focus the two eyes where you want them. Close and far vision. And you can still mess with each eye separately. That's insane, man. That is insane. But I don't want that right now, so I'm going to take that off, right off the eyes. And you can animate these. All of these are animatable. In other words, if I want my expression to be like this, I can just click this button here. This, this keys all of them together. So if I open this, you'll see every one of these have a key. If I want to do them separately, I can. I can just take that thing and, and animate it separately and hit this for the key. Um, and then I can move a little bit further. So something like that. I'm going to close this. And I can move the eyes again. Now look, if I want to move something and automatic key it, I press this one. Be careful though. This is this is harsh. Then I can move to a certain area and I can take the, the eyes and switch them around. And now, you know, you get this. The thing is, you can grab the keyframes, you can push them and pull them. Here, yeah, I can take this to, to zoom up on something, or I can hold down Control and middle mouse button. This zooms in and out. And now you can start seeing, like, 
you know, quick eyes. A little bit of a movement on them, like something like that. Bring them back up, look at you, you know, just... <laughs> there we go. Award-winning animation. Award-winning animation. Anyway, be careful of this auto key because it can get you. Oh, it can get you. Because if you animating something and you're not sure and you want to go back, this will key every every movement you do. So I usually leave that off unless I know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing. Never. Right, and that's it. Check out different things of what uh, different shapes do. And then again, you've got this uh, other... I mean, facial expressions, dude, 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 dude. I mean, you've got absolute control over every little part of these things. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look at this. Wow. And then over here is the mouth. Anyway, you got so many controls. On this thing is it's insane and then over here you've got more controls tweakers okay tweakers they call them and you've got tweakers there which I don't know what the hell that's doing that's doing there we go Wow this is insane so check it out check out check out the little things you can test all these buttons and the cool thing is um, you've got the whole list here as soon as you've got that thing you know there is all my IKs and everything to move the body around, you know. Look, uh, this might happen where you get the hand and you're trying to move it around and it's going to do that. Don't worry. If you see that, you want to turn it into IK. You'll know it's IK because you'll get these boxes. And if these boxes are there, then things move nicely, okay? So if you want to turn, if you don't see the boxes on the hands or anything, you can just type in uh, arm. And there we go, IK switches. And you can switch those switches on, and you can select the arms, and you can just start going mental, absolutely mental with the arms, okay? And then that works, rotate, moves the hands and stuff, okay? So that's how you pose. That's, I mean, that's a generic thing. And you don't have to key everything when you pose. It doesn't matter. You can just pose the character once, and it'll stick like that. If you want to do animation, you can start doing keyframes and stuff. But if you don't, uh, I wouldn't touch that. <clears throat> and that's it, man. That's a very, very basic of how you would mess around with a metahuman. Click on this control rig. All of its controls are there. And if you don't want to get to these controls, you can select anything in the list. Anything. They're all there. And you can up and down it here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bruh. Mouth C, mouth this. Yeah, you can you can change anything you want here. Down to that little chin, anything. Neck stretch. Interesting. Okay. Stretches the neck. Shows you where it is here when you when you select it. So I mean this is pretty damn cool. Throat up and down. <laughs> chin raised D. I mean, you can you can make him do anything. You can make him look as ugly as this. Now, let's say you've got your thing and you're happy with it. I want to do like a quick, you know, like just a nice shot of this thing. Then what I'll do is I'll go up to this plus here and I'll go to cinematics and take a sign camera actor. Okay. And while this is open, it's selected. You can see it down here somewhere. I'm going to say track, add to sequencer and add the camera. Now it'll switch over to my camera and I can go find my meta human. And I can position my camera. Remember, we move around with holding right click and W S A D. Just like a game, you can move around and move your mouse to move around. Okay, it's like flying. So I can get up close, and there's my camera. So I can start focusing manual focus distance. Boom. Until she's in focus. And there we go. That's it. I can get as close as I want to her. And I can just focus her nicely using that. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's it. That is the absolute basics of using Matahio Man. Um, and it's incredible, man. 
it's incredible. I mean, you got to play around and stuff, and you got to you got to see things for yourself and mesh around with a couple of the controls and stuff. But for now, this is just a real basic of how you can start uh, getting to grips with your metahuman. Okay, and it is awesome. It is awesome. So, make your sequence. Bring select your metahuman track. Bring in your metahuman straight away. They're ready to go. You want the control rig for the face and the body, and you can notice right away that once I once I click the one, let me just eject here. Once I get the one, it sets that up. If I select the face, you get the face controls, and you can select everything here and manipulate it from here. If you don't see it down here, it's because you're on details. See that? I don't get anything here. Just switch over to animation details, and then you've got the power to mess with all the different things again. And that's it. That's the basics of being able to start posing your metahuman. And, you know, you can make him do... So, just as a quick thing, um, you know, I've put the camera down, and all I want to do is get a nice pose for the thumb. So, over here, look, I can just start going through these things and start just seeing what... Really, none of them what will work and just just starting to create like a bit of a pose that I want for the thumbnail and you can just go through a couple of these and set up your set up your camera find a nice uh, angle or something and you can just start you just start seeing what you know what you want to get uh, like a nice little thumbnail or something I want to make that you can start Man, that sticky lips is insane. Eh? Look at that. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Um, and look at that. Eh? It's insane. Everything. Jaw clench. It's ridiculous. Wow. Wow. That is cool, man. And that's it. Open extreme. That is cool. Jaw forward, jaw back. Look at this. Just something chilled. You know, don't want to go mental. Jaw clinch. You can see it very subtle there. And that's it, man. You know, I'll take that as my thumbnail. Okay, the, that, that nose, though. That nose looks a bit weird. Let's go see. Uh, you can type in whatever you want there. And look at this. Isn't that cool? I'll take that one. I'll take a bit on this one. <laughs> Nose flares. That's ridiculous. Nose wrinkle upper. Wow. That's insane. Insane. Beautiful, man. So you can hone down different parts. You can just type them in here. Uh, brow. Let's see. There we go. And you can start seeing all the different keys. Ugh. This is awesome, man. Eh? This is ridiculous. Yeah, that's cute. Raise in, raise in. And that's it, man. This is it. This is how you get some cool looking shit. You can take away that when you're finished and you can get back to everything else. It's insane. Absolutely insane, man. Absolutely insane. And that's it. So you can just take this thing and you can just be here and you can type in the, the pieces that you want and you can just start going and animating those things. Obviously, that's the neck and stuff. But that's incredible. Man, this is amazing. Look at that. That's insane, bro. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me, and I hope this helps. Bye, guys.